Okay guys, great news. There have been a couple new leaks surrounding the upcoming PlayStation VR version 2 headset. Those leaks are in regard to the screen itself as well as the controllers. We already know that the headset itself is going to be connected wirelessly to the console via previous Sony patent filings. So let's talk about the screen first, shall we? The screen making conglomerate Japan Display Incorporated announced on Monday that they're going to pre begin producing a new model of VR glasses that will use LCD displays rather than organic LED displays. Japan Display Incorporated is made up of Toshiba, Hitachi, and of course, Sony. The, the big three when it comes to Japanese screens. Now, this model runs with a resolution of 1600 by 1600, a vast improvement from the current headset, which uses 960 by 1080. And because LCD screens were developed back in the 60s and have become cheaper and cheaper in order to manufacture, that in itself could reduce the cost necessary for these headsets around to make them around the cost of maybe $300, the current price of the VR headset. As a result, that could very easily make the decision for which VR headset to get for yourself much, much easier. As between the cost of the system and the VR headset itself is going to run you about the same price as you, as some high-end headsets, like the Valve Index, for instance. And on that note, let's let's move on to the control. control. Okay, now a, I know a 120 hertz refresh rate is going to be simply amazing. But when I say the words finger tracking, which system comes to mind? It's certainly not the PlayStation VR, I know that much. It's got to be the Valve Index and their knuckles controllers, which on their own are going to run you $280. But that may not be the only one in the ballpark anymore, as the upcoming PlayStation VR Gen 2 headset is likely to be touting those very same specifications as they've included in this patent that you can find in the description down below. They've included a few new sensors that would allow those upcoming controllers to provide that very same feedback that the Knuckles controllers for the Valve Index do as well. So hopefully that is going to give us a far more immersive experience than we are currently getting from the PlayStation VR on the same level as we are as we would expect from the index the prime headset you can use right now and is currently sold out for half-life Alex so hopefully we actually get it and Personally, I am looking forward to being able to try out those controllers for myself when the system does launch, eventually, whether it's this year or next. And if you guys want to support me, blah, blah, Facebook, blah, blah, YouTube, yada, yada. And if you guys want to support something a little bit bigger than me or YouTube or something a little bit more meaningful, you can do so by heading over to HumbleBundle.com. Personally, I picked up a, a very nice VR bundle earlier. Only ran me like 20 bucks. And honestly, not only was that a steal, but I was able to, to support the Call of Duty endowment, which, strangely enough, actually exists. But they support quite a few different charities throughout the months. Uh, one of them that you might be able to recognize would be the World Wild Wildlife Foundation as well as UNICEF. Those are just a couple of the many, many charities that they support 
and that you support just by buying those bundles from them. That link you can find in the description down below. And i just like to point out that no, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I just think it's really cool what they're doing. Because uh, it, it's, it's the closest, it's the best win-win scenario you're ever going to find. Well, one of them, anyway.